Ed, I would like to, I mean, um, most of most of us, mo most of participants in the MOOC are in their 20s and 30s. So if, um, if you um, uh, reflect kind of on, on the main uh, lessons learned in your lives and work's journey, do you have, so what's, uh, what advice do you have to, uh, you know, us as the MOOC participants uh, individually, but maybe also to us as a community, because uh, maybe kind of one of the really exciting things kind of in this ULAP MOOC experience is that we come together as a, um, global community of change makers that didn't really exist before and that could take on a life on its own. That's one of the really interesting open questions. So any advice, having been in many of these experiments and kind of going back to the um, uh, a T group story, kind of that's kind of where much of that started and originated early on. Now, as we see this taken to the global level, any advice do you have for us um, that we should be mindful of as we move <laughs> up, um, uh, into our journey forward? If I look back over all the experiences that, that I've had and look at what's happened with technology and the social media and so on, it is very obvious to me that the best way the world has moved forward is by by trusting innovative new ideas and, and never really killing anything because it doesn't sound right. So uh, the T group was, was, you know, you had to trust that this process would get you someplace. Experiential learning, you have to trust that if you give people power to do it their own way, that they won't screw it up or they'll, they'll learn something useful. So what I see today is a big inflection point around the social media and these societal forces where we're going to need invention from the very group you're talking about. I don't see anything on the horizon that's already there. I think we're going to truly need our grandchildren to invent their way out of this. So when I see grandchildren, and I'm going a little bit beyond your groups, their children, instead of lamenting that they're not deeply involved or they're doing too much time on the screens, or, I think we have to watch and learn from it rather than dictate. Uh, because I think dictating is pulling us back to a world that worked for us. And it's clearly a different world. It's a different world in the environmental sense and in the technological sense. And so if, if we don't invent brand new mechanisms, we will indeed not survive. But I don't see us inventing them. I don't see your MOOCs inventing them. I think the MOOCs have to treat their children in a way that will enable them to invent how we, how we survive. Become learning people rather than teachers. It's all about learning. 